Hello, this is Andy Ford with Andy Ford Video, and today we're going to manipulate the super useful fractal noise effect to create an energy wave. This is good for energy impacts and wipes, and also for stylizing clips. Here's a composition with a solid, it can be any color, and we're going to add the fractal noise effect. It's found in effects, noise and grain. Find the fractal type and noise type that works for you. In this instance, I'm using the dynamic fractal type and the soft linear noise type. I'm also going to invert it so I get more of an energy wave appearance. Next, I'll bring down the brightness. Let's also crank up the contrast for this effect. Finally, I'm going to set keyframes for evolution so we get some nice movement. Now for this project, I'm going to make an energy ball explode outwards. So I'll make a circular mask and then feather the edges. I'll keyframe the mask expansion so the energy moves outward. Then I'll duplicate the mask, set it to subtract, and alter the expansion keyframes to follow my initial mass keyframe. This will be offset and provide an end to the energy effect. Next, let's get the color right. Add CC Toner, which is found under the color correction effects, and change the color to your preference. Now the border of our energy is still looking strange, so let's add the rough and edges effect found under Stylize. You can look through the edge types, but in this instance, I'll use Spiky. I'll also adjust the border, edge sharpness, fractal influence, and scale to personal taste. Then I'll set evolution keyframes. Note the difference when I move this effect above the fractal noise effect. I think we can help the edges even more by adding CC Vector Blur from the Blur and Sharpen effects. I like the fall off created just by adding a little bit to the amount area. Finally, we can add the glow effect. I'll set keyframes to make the glow brighter at the initial point of explosion, and then it can decrease over time. There are many ways you can customize this effect. With the effect complete, we can add a background image. On the background layer, we can add a displacement map. Choose the layer with the fractal noise as the displacement map layer, and be sure to select Effects and Masks instead of the source to control the displacement. We'll just add a little displacement based on luminance. Now we can add a sound effect and take a look at our final composition. So, this is an efficient way to create an energy-like effect that has many uses and customizations for your After Effects project. Thank you.